So, you know, as quickly as uh, you talked about uh, last weekend, I don't have any time really to look back because uh, Ole Miss is uh, a team that's playing very, very well right now. Uh, obviously, they came off of a, a, big, a big, big victory uh, at home. Uh, and uh, uh, for us, it'll be good for us to be back at, at, at Kyle Field. Uh, you know, this will be our, our uh, fourth SEC football game. It'll be our first one at home. Uh, something that uh, I think will draw a lot of energy from uh, from being at home and, and also from, from our fans because we've had great support uh, on the road. We've had great support uh, in Dallas and, and, and we've had great support for our home games that we've had here. So uh, for us, uh, you know, I, th I don't think uh, being back home could come at a better time. So, you know, <clears throat> this, this past week was a little bit more difficult. It's a lot of play action. You know, you got to fit your run responsibility first. Um, they're not quite as much uh, play action pass as we just faced. Um, not running the quarterback quite as much as Dak. Uh, so you had to be on your P's and Q's. You know, to come out of there with three or four sacks against a team we just played a pretty good day now, I'm just going to tell you, uh, because of the ability of the quarterback to run. It's hard to pressure a guy uh, that can run the football from the quarterback position. Uh, you guys got to see that for two years. Um, this is a little bit different challenge, kind of the same offense. Uh, with a little bit different blocking schemes here or there, which gives you a chance to maybe rush the quarterback a little bit more. Yeah, I started looking at their total defensive stats, and I saw that they're the number one team in the country in scoring defense and number five in total off, uh, total defense. So, you know, we, we do have a tough test ahead of us. You know, the kids are excited to be back at home, which, you know, we've been traveling a lot lately, which is a great deal for them. So, you know, I think they're up for the challenge. I think there's a lot of guys that want to redeem themselves from what happened last weekend. So. Um, it, it's it's going to be an exciting electric game, so we're, we're pretty anxious to get out there and see if we can make up for what we did last week. Uh, I mean, we can't uh, have negative play, too many negative plays and drives, uh, whether that be penalties or just stops for real short games. And I mean, it's just we got to be consistent in uh, moving the ball. I mean, that's the biggest thing. When you see that the team is Now, even after a loss, does it still give you guys a lot of confidence knowing that you can pretty much control your own destiny going from here out? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I was just telling him, the West is about as even as it's ever been. You know, we don't have any juggernaut teams out there. So, I mean, definitely we got to come back and say this is what we got to do different, really. But, I mean, just like in everyday life, you have hard times. I mean, that's the same way in college football. You're going to have a hard game. It's going to be hard out there. You know, sometimes it's not your day. You know, we just have to move on.